Nestled in the heart of the central business district, where Amoy Street, Pekin Street, and Tolok Ai Street meet, is Far East Square. Opened by the Far East Organization in 1999, it is a heritage conservation site. The working generation of the CBD know it as their go-to lunch destination. Tourists eager to soak up the Chinese heritage of Singapore come here to learn more. At night, the place morphs into an enclave where the after-work crowd comes to unwind. But this place was in fact home to the earliest Chinese immigrants. Travelling by boat from China, they set foot on Singapore almost 200 years ago. As they settled down, they began to earn a living from their trades. These trades included letter writing, the selling of spices, and food hawking. But looking around now, it is easy to dismiss Far East Square as simply not a tourist attraction. Only Mr. Tan Hock Singh's store has survived through the years. It is hard to see heritage in the area nowadays. In conservation, what we set out to do is actually repair, retention, restoration. And in carrying out these three elements, we always bear in mind that whatever we do is for the uses of today. I mean, we will always try our utter best to ensure the heritage is kept. We try to bring and incorporate the modernity and the necessity of creature comfort for modern life. If it's a case of balance, Far East Square seems to have struck the right chord. The area was designed to have the old and new coexist harmoniously, without one element overshadowing the other. While it was a challenge to incorporate the new without compromising on preserving the old, Far East Square has proven to be successful in achieving this balance. Many different factors were taken into consideration in the restoration process. So us today, we want our aircon, we want to be comfortable, we need lifts to move us around, so we have to put in modern amenities into these uh, conserved buildings. And we like to do it such that um, the air conditioned ducts can be seen, the lifts are conveniently placed so that it doesn't mar the facades of our conserved building in that sense. On the traditional side of things, gates bearing the symbols of the different Chinese elements have been placed throughout the landscape. These serve to constantly remind visitors of the historical significance of Far East Square. We want to evoke the memories of our culture by naming an entrance white under each of these elements. So, for instance, um, the water gate is where we utilize um, water as a landscape element over there. Uh, we have the one of the oldest temple in town, the Futachi Temple, and in that temple, the roof and the structure, primary, a huge primary part of it is in timber. So we use that to use our culture as a generator in the themes of the way we treat the landscape and the external environment. And in so doing, we actually evoke a curiosity to visitors and to users to the place who like to find out more. So in finding out more, they actually find out more about ourselves and of course this country and society. It seems conservation is a never-ending process, but restoration efforts should change with the times. If we don't uh, leave everything status quo, stagnation will come in. Then, if we're not able to maintain the properties, well, with stagnation, it becomes dilapidation. With dilapidation, it becomes safety concern. So, should that be the white, right? 
if you like something, do you always keep that thing like that forever? It may not be possible. That's life. Now we see that had we not embraced change, this prime spot in the CBD might have been turned into another skyscraper, or worse, left to waste away as abandoned shop houses. Conservation will be successful if people can feel about it and people love it and people find that it's something that is very much part and parcel of their life. So conservation would be wonderfully successful if it stays on the mind of visitors as the must-go place like say Tin when you go to Shanghai. So in the case of visitors to Singapore, why not Ferry Square? Why not indeed? Even though progress means more needs to be met and more new to consider in future restoration efforts, Far East Square sets the bar for achieving this delicate balance between the old and the new.